Hello guys, this is Sammy from HackerBad.net and today we're going to look at how to create your own speed hacks. All you're going to need is a game to use your speed hack on, preferably a game that depends on speed, where you need to make decisions quickly. I chose um, You Must Build a Boat, um, which is kind of a match three game where you have to match three of the same thing and I'm all flat it as you can see and you get to do that fairly quickly in order to be successful okay so I chose this game I want to slow it down but we're also going to show you how to speed stuff up and so on it's both useful sometimes you want to speed stuff up sometimes you want to make things slower um, then the second program you're going to need is cheat engine this is a program for novices and beginners that allows you to edit certain things about a game process. So it's kind of a game hacking program, but it's totally legal. You don't have to worry about anything. Um, you can download it either on HackerByte.net or at the link in the description of this video, or you can just Google it. However, so this is Cheat Engine. Basically what you do is you connect it to the game process running on your computer. You do that by clicking the little PC icon right here and choosing the game that you want to connect it to. Um, I get to find this one. It's you must build a boat. There we go. You must build a boat.exe or YMB whatever, AB. <laughs> so this is the game process. Uh, usually the game process will be pretty obvious, okay? So if you want to connect it, for example, to Dragon Age or whatever, it'll say Dragon Age. You can also see the process or know the process by its icon. So just double click that and now it's connected right here to the game process. Now in order to enable a speed hack, all we have to do is check the box that says enable speed hack. It's pretty straightforward and this will work approximately for I would say 90% of all games. Um, the higher fidelity graphics a game has, uh, the more likely it is that it won't work. So in the past few years there have been quite a few where it didn't actually work. And also if your computer is kind of at its limits, then it's also very unlikely to work because speeding it all up will, under certain circumstances, just make your computer crash or you know, run out of breath. So let's see how this works. Um, any number B uh, above one will make the game faster. So it's kind of a speed multiplier. So if I enter two, it'll be twice as fast as usual, but I want to slow the game down. So I'm going to go for something below one. I'm going to go with half speed, which is 0.5. And then you click apply and you go back into the game. So Basically, what we've done now is we have slowed the game down. As you can clearly see, everything is slow. And in order to make that point even more clear, I'm going to go down to 0.2, which is even more extreme close. And as you can see, oh, I'm really bad at match three games. But I like this one. See, everything, every animation is really slow and you got a lot of time to think about where you're gonna move these boxes. So, especially for games where the game mechanic kinda depends on you not having enough time to think and make decisions, this is quite powerful. Also in games where you have to kind of, you're in arena, an arena shooter for example, where you have to aim at stuff and shoot stuff really fast, it's really overpowered. So, that's basically how you do a speed hack. I'm now going to show you the speed version. I'm going to go to five times, apply, and as you can see, everything is real fast. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> uh, yeah, everything is fast. So and you can use that in all kinds of games. Um, even in some games where you have certain elements that um, for example, in certain um, Assassin's Creed games, you had to send your followers on missions and stuff. And in certain of these games, that works to speed the time up and have that time pass a lot faster. Yeah, but you know, how you use this, that's up to you. 
Um, it will, as I've said, work on most games. It also works on other applications. So you're free to test. And thanks you guys for watching. I hope you have learned something. And I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.